The top three barriers to using BIM are no client demand, lack of in-house ex expertise, and lack of training. Do you see that there is something in common in these two top three? And my conclusion is that the main barrier to using BIM is in the training. Well, the lack of training. I was curious about it, so I conducted a survey on LinkedIn asking about the level of BIM knowledge on my network. And the result was that 30% of the professionals are BIM self-taught. 39 are BIM Essentials or BIM Awareness course. 70% have completed an official information management course. And only 5% are officially certified in, a, in information management. I received my uh, BRI ISO 1950 information management certification last February. And my quality and compliance manager said to me, Congrats, Narciso. You are now part of a tiny ILT of 60 people. Only them has the certification in the ISO 9650 with the BRI. I checked the list online, and only 18 people were certified with the task information management by the BRI. I hope everybody can appreciate the difference between someone who has self-taught or BIM Essentials training, that is the 80% of professionals, and someone with an information management course of certified by a third party. I'm going to give you a few examples of real cases on, on the field over the years that I have been, I have seen. And the first one is in the BIM meetings, some of the companies things that they don't need BIM training for, for a BIM project. So they send the architects or engineers in the BIM meetings, and when they speak with people with BIM training, we seem like we are talking different languages. The second example is I once uh, was working for an engineering company, and uh, we did the design stage with this, with, without a BIM execution plan. Uh, neither the architect nor the, the, the client had any BIM training. So only the contractor could make them understand that we need a BIM execution plan in a BIM level 2 project because of the coordination issues and mostly for the design. I think everybody agrees with me on that. And I also know a company in the UK who can deliver being level four. That is quite funny because I never heard about it. But they thought that having this information on, on its website could give them a good reputation. So I undertook my research on LinkedIn, or not LinkedIn, on internet, sorry. And um, I only could see uh, an article from a random guy on internet and the text was exactly the same that this company had on, on its, web, its website. Because being level four in the UK doesn't exist. And in another company, someone thought that it would be great to have an engineer uh, creating a beam guide for the company. So the engineer did his research on the internet. He did what he liked and made his version. Now everybody can do anything with internet, obviously. You have Wikipedia, for example. The BIM guide for the company was born, and of course nobody asked to the certified BIM expert. These are just a few examples, reinforcing the data for, from the first graphic about the, the main barriers to implementing BIM. I'm sure that you know more, but the main point here is that you cannot keep doing everything in the same way than 30, 20, or 10 years ago. Times change, and it is, it is called devolution. Devolution is a process of changes and development over the years. 
the training is critical for the adaptation to these changes. But there is always resistance to the changes. The human being has the me this mechanism of protection against the unknown that is called the comfort zone. The comfort zone is this imaginary zone where we feel safe, control everything, and don't want to live. I led a, web a big webinar a few weeks ago in my company for my colleagues, and one of the questions was, why is there so much resistance to adopting BIM? Well, the many benefits of BIM has been widely demonstrated. BIM has come to stay. However, many people are still against its implementation and the training involved. Let me tell you a BIM hero story about running alongside evolution thanks to the training. That is what we are talking about here. And it's my own story. In the 90s, I was studying to be a draftsman, and our training was based on hand drawing and computer aided design, as the drawing production at this time. I remember how my old teacher was saying there is nothing about or better than the drawing by hand. This is the, best, the first picture there. I don't know if some of you have, have experienced drawing by hand, but it was in the 90s. Nobody has drawn by hand since then. Over the years, I became a cat expert, but with my doubts. I thought many times about doing the same thing all my life, doing the same drawings for the same projects, until I joined an iconic project in my city, that is Malaga. And if you have visited the Costa del Sol, this is the airport of my city. I have been working on that for five years where I learned many things and I did many trainings too because the, the work was huge. But the crisis in 2010 hit me badly and after four years without a job, I decided to come to the UK to be a draftsman again. When I arrived in London, a British engineering company hired me as a junior CAD technician. Even I had more than 20 years of experience, but nothing here in the UK. They got a junior, a senior CAD technician for the price of a junior, but I discovered BIM, I discovered Revit, and I thought this was a, a good opportunity for a development in my career. So I started learning Revit, and for the training, the, my, the manager of my company gave me the CAD drawings of the Hydro Terminal 2, that with someone with no experience with BIM or Revit, I had to model the whole structure by myself with no knowledge, no training, nobody telling me how to do it. And after three years, a lot of training and many projects, like some underground stations in Riyadh, Dublin University, I had the opportunity to join probably the most iconic project in the UK that was the Houses of Parliament. Gaining more and more experience and knowledge over the years through the training, I became BIM certified and joined my current company, where I updated all the standards to the ISO 19650 to have the new certification this year. And I started doing 3D laser scanning for my company, BIM 4D animations, and leading the BIM training for my colleagues. So seven years after I began to work with Revit, I can now say that I am a BIM manager. So my message is that from drawing this to BIM, you cannot turn your back on evolution. Don't be afraid of changes. Don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone and take it risks. Don't be afraid of evolution. Training is the best way to improve, succeed, and embrace evolution. My name is Narciso Guerrero. I am the big manager at Cambridge, and I am always happy to connect on LinkedIn. Thank you for listening.